Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a quick flip through of the Matthew C. Alpha. This is the first level. They have primer before this one, but you don't have to do that one. We always start with Alpha in kindergarten. I bought the package that comes with the DVD, the student book, and or the test book and the student book. We've had these for a few months, so they're kind of banged up. My kids are pretty hard on curriculum. I'll do a quick flip through so you can see if it's something you want to do in your homeschool. Now each book starts with, of course, table of contents, but they also have a checkoff system, so it's easy to keep track of where you are if you want to do this. I almost never do this because we just open the book and do the next lesson. I also don't use the test book very often because I know if my child is getting the concept, so I don't feel the need to test. However, if they are struggling, it's a great place for an extra worksheet they can do. And if they have struggled with concepts in the book, then I will have them do the big tests the unit test. The unit tests cover multiple chapters, so I'll have them do that at the end of the year just to review and make sure they still have the concept down. So it starts with place value. And they all have, each lesson has the same amount of pages in it. Except for this first one. <laughs> Each lesson has six pages to do in it. And also a test for that one. So it's seven days per lesson, but you can just cut it short if you'd like. You don't have to do G's. We always do that because they're just kind of fun. So I use this for kindergarten level. I wanted to show you, I think it's this next one. Yes. So each lesson has, the first three are the concepts you covered, and then the next three are review. So they have some of the things you just did, plus the things you've already done in the book. I really like it. It's like mastery and review and spiral approach at the same time. Now, lesson six, this always takes us a long time because writing zero to 100 has always been very overwhelming for my children. So I just have them do two or three rows a, a day and, until they get through it, and that seems to work out pretty well. So don't be afraid to, to spread out a lesson if it's, too, if it's too much for your child. The first half of the book is addition, and the second is subtraction, so they'll be very, very good at those two things when they've completed the book. You'll also notice that there are word problems once you get into it, a couple of chapters. There's word problems after every lesson. So they will also become very good at word problems as well. Matthew C goes in a different order than most other math curriculums, but I really, really like this. It's been very effective for my kids. Each level is one or two things they concentrate on, so they get very, very good at that. Versus the spiral approach, where you just touch on briefly a bunch of things, and the next year you touch them and they go deeper. I don't like that approach at all. This one works so well and my kids have been, gotten so good at math from this.
Thank you.